It's that time of the day where you get to sip, spill and vibe with us. When I say vibe, today's show is most certainly going to be a vibe. You know we understand your need to relax and be taken care of, so permit us to whisk you away for a few minutes while you don't have to think about your troubles or the unrest in the country. And to do this with me is the delectable Ife Omai. Hi, what up? how's it going? Not bad at all. How have you been? I've been better. Seen better. better days, but I'm good. You've seen better days, but yeah. you're good, though. Yes, I That's am. the most important thing, Absolutely. as long as you are good. And it's your first quiz today, so I feel like you're going to make magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're <laughs> definitely going to make magic. The yin to the yang ah. is not, nah, mm. it's, it's mm. not complete. Mm. It's the yin yang mm. team. Mm. Eh? No yin yang twins. Oh my it's the yin yang team. Oh, Did you get that? Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So uh, let's delve into the main um, agenda for the day. So, first off, we, we, we have a lot of surprises for you on the show. So, do not even think about changing the station. Just sit down, relax, and grab a cup of tea as this is tea time and enjoy the show with us. But the first story for the day remember Daniela Frazier, the teenager who captured George Floyd's final minutes? and started a worldwide movement. She's getting an award from a prestigious nonprofit, Penn America, announced that they were honoring 17-year-old Danella with its annual Penn Benenson Courage Award. The organization CEO, Susan Nussel, says, with nothing more than a cell phone and sheer guts, Danella changed the course of history in this country, sparking a bold movement demanding an end to systematic anti-black racism and violence at the end of police. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump, who represents George's family, now praised Danella as well on Twitter, saying she showed tremendous courage and the award was well deserved. Mm, absolutely. 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 Yeah. Um, it, it, I mean, we are in a culture where we bring out our phones for everything, but a lot of the times we bring out our phones for very um, frivolous and shallow things. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times, you'd be surprised that people have the people don't actually have the spine to bring out their phones when it really counts. Mm -hmm. When things are, um, you know, hot. A lot of people look away. A lot of people walk away. A lot of people don't bother to record it. So it might look like she hasn't really done much until you find yourself in that situation or, or you see other people in the same situation not doing the same thing. Right. Um, but she captured a moment that I have to agree and I like the way they coined it. Really, really started something. Doesn't seem World like much. Movement. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. seem like much, but it is much. And I mean, I cannot imagine if she... It, I'll be surprised if she's not scarred from something mm -hmm. like this, but... She, did, she, she, did, she couldn't speak about it. Mm. Even when the video was circulating, no one knew the exact source mm. because she couldn't even come out to talk. She was shook completely. Mm. And um, one thing that I, 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 I felt about the story was that she had the strength. It's a lo it takes a lot of strength mm. for you to actually capture the moment a man dies. Mm. You know, if, if you've ever seen anyone die in front of, whether someone you know or a stranger, mm. it is a very traumatic view. Mm. Do you understand? So I can imagine how she felt. And then you could hear her in the background talking about can you let him, mm. release him a beat? He's not resisting. Mm. She was still fighting for this mm. guy. A lot of people especially in this part of the world, mm. they pull out, they, they see accident victim mm. and they're just trying to record how wrecked the car mm. is. No one is going close to go check who is in the car. Are mm. they still injured? How can we help these people? What um, emergency lines can we call? Mm. How can people be rescued? People are pulling it out now and tagging mm. um, social media mm. blogs so that they can be cloud chasers, mm. have their followers increase and stuff like that. But I think um, this 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 is another angle, like we say. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, another angle. Another because angle. right now, mm. we you know that people are getting rewarded for being brave, you yeah. understand? And then we can't take that away from Danella. She was absolutely brave. And without that video she made, we may have, the world may have never known exactly what happened to George. Mm. And they still keep saying, I can't breathe. And mm. then there's still a lot of people, even right here in this part of the world, saying, we, we can't, can't breathe. breathe. Good way to end that. 
Right. All right. So moving on. Yeah, I don't know. It's all about um, bad news, but um, don't worry. We'll get to the move where we get to share some good news with you, of course, and some good vibe. Iroko TV CEO Jason Unjoku and his wife, Nollywood sweetheart Mary Unjoku, has tested positive for coronavirus. He revealed this in a tweet where he wrote, My enemies are hard at work in 2020. Mrs. Unjoku and I tested positive for COVID-19. I'm not feeling great but mary is well literally no idea how i caught it but we shall see this pass too mm. Mm. coronavirus is still out there <laughs> thank you away from A good contrary, way to start that away from contrary belief it is still out there the, this year this year has been a lot has been <laughs> It's too much, and I cannot blame people if you're thinking that, oh, yeah, corona is still one of those things we need to worry about because there's been so much on our plates to mm -hmm. worry about. Away from just individual stuff, like trying to survive, trying to make money and feed your family, which, which in itself is already full on. Mm -hmm. And especially in places like here in Nigeria, we have the NSARS movements, the people who were involved in it and trying to fight for a better life. The people that were not even involved in it are still affected by it because there's been lockdowns that we did not see coming. There's been lootings, people's, people's um, properties and companies have been damaged. If you're, if you're lucky to not be one of those people, there is a lot. So a lot of, I think a lot of people are trying to do many things at once to try and survive mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. Mm -hmm. That um, I love the, the fact you brought up financially. Mm, that a lot, that the, you know, the idea of really focusing on keeping safe and social distancing and not wearing a face mask just feels like, like a by the way thing. Yeah. Um, so I, when he said he doesn't know how he caught it, me, God forbid, if I catch coronavirus now, I wouldn't really say that because I'm like, there's not a lot of, I can count how many times I've forgotten to take a sanitizer out, so like taking a face mask out. And then some, some days are good, some days are bad. So yeah. I can imagine that they were just not lucky enough to Avo avoid, uh, avoid, avoid the virus. But I'm really hoping that, you know, they're active people, they're young, they're healthy, that even if they're not all those things, that they can still have the chance to pull through, come out of it alive and, and healthy. Because it's one thing to come out of it alive, it's another thing to come out of it with your lungs intact and all these other things and using your taste buds and all these other weird things that we see online. So I'm really, really hoping for the best of the best type of uh, medical service that they can, fi they can find and that they also heal really well. All right, so uh, pardon me, I've been saying Unjoku, and I remember that I've been corrected by my Igbo brothers and sisters severally, that is Unjoku. Unjoku. So, yes, yeah, so um, mm. Unjoku um, and um, Mary, um, the Unjokos, we, we wish you speedy recovery. And like Ife has said, just to buttress your point, um, coronavirus is still out there. Mask up Lagos. <laughs> like, like, it's no joke now. It's not an advert anymore. Mm. Now, we're actually telling a lot of people, still wear your Face, face mask. mask still go around keeping safe when you're I, i've seen a lot of people trying to get into the supermarket or trying to get into a store and uh, telling you that wear your face man they'll be arguing with them yeah. that why can't i mm. no it's not for them alone mm. it, as much as it's for them it's also for what you because you don't know what they are carrying these people deal with sick people every they day do. do you understand and they they they, they still um, transact business business and businesses with them and then so you need to stay safe out there mask up when you're going to crowd play we saw that happening happening in the protest as well where a lot of people were right there and they were all you know just mingling and talking like um, there's no coronavirus coronavirus mm. is still out there Very just stay so. safe everyone mask up Lagos and yes speed of recovery to the unjokus all right so moving on to the next story, DMW boss, David O, um, has revealed hmm, a hmm. big revelation at that. In an interview that he cannot remember the last time he slept in a, with a woman. Hmm. In a chat with Beat 99.9 FM in Lagos, the singer was charged with a 60 seconds question and answer session where he revealed that he hasn't had sex in a while. Let's look at that video. When was the last time you had sex? Ah. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> What's the biggest misconception you've heard about yourself? Um, I don't know that I'm probably rude. If you weren't an artist, what would you be doing? Um, I'd probably be in some power plant somewhere chilling. Who's your number one celebrity crush? Kylie Jenner, but my boots, she got one, I get my own, so it's not good to happen. <laughs> 
What's your favorite song of all time? My song is Damn Do. Okay. How do you sleep at night with PJs on naked? <laughs> <laughs> My clothes on, probably. So, can you say this five times as fast as you can? Brown leather, yellow leather. Brown, brown leather, yellow leather, brown leather, yellow leather, brown leather. When was the last time? All right, that was a very mm. entertaining one. Mm. So the question is, David, do celebrate, mm. or is he just trying to let us know that what we've been hearing about him and Chioma, the rumors are just true? Honestly, because that's that's the vibe I got from me it. Too. If David, if David do is telling me that he has not had sex in a while, what's happening to Chioma? Exactly. You guys have a child together, so it's not like you're saying that okay, you're keeping your body. <laughs> you're definitely not keeping your body. Yeah, no. So what exactly? I, I, I know that not having sex for couples is a very strong indicator of when something is wrong. Mm -hmm. That's how people usually know. If you are not able to lie down at night and at least hold each other. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Don't worry, it's allowed. It's allowed. We're above it. <laughs> you never know. We're sorry, but let's talk about this. If you're not able to do that, then there is definitely a problem. Yeah. There's a problem there. Mm -hmm. um, I, I want to say that they're, maybe they're busy. You know, if I'm trying to play devil's advocate here, mm. maybe he's been really why didn't him like that. Mm -hmm. he's busy. Maybe he's just been really busy, like he's yeah, not. They haven't been shown. They haven't. You know? I mean, but he traveled, didn't he? My guy, he's not that busy. No, okay. He's not that busy. He's not that high. I don't know because I remember Even one, one minute, time. me the king. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Because you know, it, there was a time in phase one where there was the middle of um, noise where David Do made deals. Mm -hmm. People came into mm -hmm. phase one, mm -hmm. and um, some people that I know that had access to them were saying that oh, they went to go and visit Choma. That's mm -hmm. what I heard that Choma mm -hmm. lives in the phase one, whatever. It was really fine um, on, his, on his birthday, which is a few days ago. So yeah, obviously so, uh, they still have contact. Yeah, so if that that even makes it worse for mm -hmm. me because if you're having contact with each other and. But you're not doing anything. So, like, are they co-parenting or are they friends? I don't know. Well, uh, maybe um, they're praying and fasting. There maybe we'll have, yeah. we have David O to tell us himself. So we'll yeah. probably hear from the horse's mouth. Mm. But at the end of the day, too, um, it only gives me a vibe uh, in as much as we want to talk about what is going on between David O and Shoma. One would think that a lot of women will throw themselves at mm. a David O. So if what he's saying is actually true and he's still able to have self-control and not be jumping from one woman to another, so it changes the narrative of... Um, yeah. The um, stereotype. Uh, the stereotypical story yeah, that, that. Um, mm. celebrities jump from one woman yeah. to another. And maybe he's just not in the mood. Like. To, and not, yeah, or maybe he's just in love and he's trying to work things out with Chema. Whatever it is, we, yeah. we never know. Now yeah. we're just saying, what if, what if, yeah. what if. But yeah, so we were able to reach out. Um, okay, before I even say this, there we go. Get some. So we were able to reach out to some of your favorite celebrities who acknowledge the intensity of these trying times. And guess what? They all decided to lift your spirits by working on a special project just for this trying time. Let's see that. When did this world get so dark? We're not perfect, but we're trying. We all need to play a part. Cause things will never change. It'll always stay the same. Until we do something about it. Talk and do what we need to. Just stop talking about it. We must talk and do. Why don't you do something? Yo. This is not a song, it's a statement About the state of a very lost generation How could we let our little boys become rapists? And how could we let all of our love just turn to hatred? In the States we see cases of racism White cops kill us cause we have black faces And in Africa, I don't know where to begin The same kind of murder, the same color of skin And we don't care to use our platforms to make a difference Prefer to drag each other on Twitter so we could trend We filter all our Instagram pictures just to pretend like we're happy True happiness only comes from within And I don't watch the news cause it's all bad Different days, same hashtags Different names, different victims Same flashbacks They don't concern you May your children never also have to say me too They ask me why I'm so consumed with community service 
cause my community's hurting My community's dirty, no one bats an eyelid Cause everyone thinks it's someone else's problem to fix And everyone prefers not to delve into politics So why are we upset that the system's so full of this? The nation that we need is our responsibility The country we want to see, it starts with you and me Something about it, talk I do We need to just stop talking about it Where is the love? Where is the patience? Or a boy, boy, you don't know what is the difference? It don't let too much, talking looted and violence. Repeating the same thing, if you check, I'm not madness. We need a solution, time for some action. Too much talk, we talk, we call it, you know the function. The answer we they find, it ain't inside me and you. Okay. Now it's time for all of us to talk and do. Come on. Woo! Talking on the change it. This is not the time for us. Timmy Dakola, let's go. So talking about the change of it.
away. All right. We don't want to do this anymore. No, we don't. We can't Enough breathe. of the killing. Enough. Hope. Reform the whole country. So, so much. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't even know how to say it. But big shout out to Banky W. Big, 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 big shout, shout out. out. To skills. Big shout out to everyone who's lent their voice to our yeah. struggle right now because it's a big struggle. Nigeria is not a good, is not in a good place where there's a lot of unrest going on in the country. And all we're asking for is good governance, or all the people are asking for is good governance and um, a better future for our kids. Mm. So I don't think we're asking for too much. No, so I don't not. think the people are asking for we're too not. much. We're not. We really need to stop with the suffering. I don't think we deserve it. Um, if it's, it's a different case if we didn't have any other way to live, but we have other ways to live. If people in the right places can just act mm -hmm. right, um, mm -hmm. and it's not too much to ask. So it's just this one life. Give Nigerians a chance to talk life. And then know? I love I love Banky W's um, title, yeah. Talk and Do. Mm. We we're tired of hearing stories. We just want to see you do the things you mm. say you would do mm. or you will do. Because we know they are still in 20, they, they'll be back soon to tell us what they will do, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. But we just hope that they can talk and do. And um, shout out to Skills as well, like I said earlier. And Maka's Anymore is actually premiering on Plus TV Africa. You haven't, oh, you're not going to see that video nowhere else yet. Mm -hmm. I don't even think it's on YouTube. It's going to be dropping on YouTube sometime today. Okay. But this is the first place you're going to catch that video or you just cut that video. And we'll probably end the show with it again just to show you. Who knows for you? Jara, jara. <laughs> In case you did not pick it the first time. All right, time. so um, this song is inspired by the situation going on in our country, Nigeria. It also speaks the mind of someone that is done with the ashness of living in Nigeria and just wants to move. However, as the song goes on, it finds an inner strength to keep moving. Uh, for nothing, for the sake of the lives lost in the battle against the Nigerian government, for a better Nigeria. The song features popular Abuja based vocalist and producer Mon Lee. And with his a cappella backups, it gives the song emo the emotion it deserves. And yes, it is definitely an emotional song. And big shout out to um, Slick City, who shot that video. And um, Tea Time, we'll go on a break and we will be right back. Stay with us.